Do you know what today is, my beautiful friends? Today is my 100th day of wearing Invisalign. This video is not sponsored. 1500 minutes spent cleaning my aligners and brushing and flossing my teeth. I'm less than halfway through my treatment, but I think it's important to celebrate the small things and celebrate the milestones as they happen. Milestones like getting to do this. Finished my first box. Yeah. It seemed like a good idea in my head. I wanted to show you guys where I started because I don't think I ever did that in a video. I didn't show you what my teeth looked like because I figured I'm like, you can see my older videos. You can see what my teeth looked like, but I'm gonna put it some footage or a picture in a video for you. I did have some crowding on the bottom of my teeth and a little bit on the top. My teeth in particular were getting worse and worse and worse every year. So what my teeth looked like before treatment is not what my teeth looked like when I was a teenager. So as I was getting older, this tooth which one was it? This one was shifting out this way. So that was my biggest concern. Did I mention my overbite? Oh yeah, this is actually my overbite. I had a very deep overbite where my top teeth pretty much covered my bottom teeth when I smiled. I feel like my teeth look pretty good. There's been many points in this treatment when I feel like if all of a sudden Invisalign was just taken from me, I'd be like, wow, I'm pretty happy with how my teeth look right now. Like right now, like this looks pretty good. Like these top teeth, like they're not perfect yet, but like they look good. When we come to the end, it's just gonna be like, in the things I wasn't expecting about Invisalign video, which you can watch up here or up here, I can never point at the right side of the screen, so it's not a 50-50 chance anymore. It's 100% because I'm going to do both sides. Click up here <laughs> to see that video. I talked about my lisp in that video, and I feel like my speech has gotten so much better, like I was saying in that video, that it gets better every single week. And now I feel like you can't, almost can't even detect that there's a speech difference. The S is a little bit. She sells seashells by the seashore. See? That's good. That's really good. Soreness levels. In that video, I talked about how it gets less painful as the weeks go on. And you know what? Up until that point, that was true. But then, a couple trays ago, the top and the bottom were really sore. So I'm assuming that the shifting that was happening that week was, it was shifting teeth that were like really like, we want to stay here. And Invisalign was saying, mm. You could not stay, you must move. And there was like a tug and more because it was very painful that week. So um, yeah, there definitely has been some pain as of late, but this week was great. So it really, you just don't know sometimes when you put a new tray, if it's gonna hurt or not. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. I thought it was, the pain level was gonna be like this. But it's more like, oh, 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 oh. You don't know. Food, it still gets stuck in my teeth like crazy, but it is strangely satisfying taking it out of my teeth. Like when asparagus gets stuck in my teeth and I pull it out, it's just like, ooh. But yeah, food still gets stuck in my teeth a lot, but I don't mind. I intentionally wear my elastics and my aligners in all of my videos. I probably don't have to do this, but I'm committed to my Invisalign journey. And also I want to be an example on the internet for people that are on Invisalign, that people have braces, people that have things going on with their mouths that are feeling maybe, you know, like a little bit insecure about it. I want to show you that like, look, we can do it together. I'm not going to hide what I sound like and what I look like day to day from you guys. So that's why I keep these in. I could take them out, but I'm not going to. At the beginning of my Invisalign journey, I was like shocked about the attachments. I was shocked about the elastics because like I said in the video, I had an expectation of what Invisalign was going to look like, what I was going to look like on Invisalign. I thought it was going to be 100% invisible and then it wasn't. And it was like an adjustment period for me where I felt really self-conscious. Um, I was felt so conscious about, felt conscious. Okay guys, maybe my list exists a little bit. <laughs> or something. I was still really self-conscious about like what they looked like, how visible they were, and I was really self-conscious about my speech. I remember after I got my Invisalign in, I had to make a phone call like that day and it was horrible because I don't, well at least not now, but like I used to really not like making phone calls and then having to make a phone call when like your speech is impaired, it was just like yeah, so Invisalign's been really good character building, so I wouldn't change a thing. It's been good. Cheers to 100 days, my friend, and cheers to 100 days more. Things are looking really great. This is what they look like. Everybody dance now. <laughs>